no meal planning can feel so overwhelming, but it is essential if you are trying to lose weight. So I wanna share with you my five tips when it comes to meal planning as I sit down and work on my plan for the week. Number one, get rid of all of your ideas of what you think meal planning should look like and just do what works for you. I have literally been known to put my meal plan on a post-it note. You do not need a fancy board in your kitchen or a fancy planner. If that is your style, go for it, but you don't need those things to successfully have a meal plan. Tip number two, keep a running list of all of the meals you know that you and your family love. One thing I actually do is every week when I sit down and make my meal plan, I let all of my kids choose a meal for the week so I know that there's at least one thing that they love during the week. And then every week I'll try one new meal. So I search Pinterest every week. If the family likes the recipe, it goes on our list for recipes that we like that I'll reuse. If we don't, I don't try it again. Number three, a lot of times people tend to overlook things that they have going on during the week, whether it's appointments, sports, activities. Keep in mind the days that you are really busy and plan accordingly. If you know that your kids have baseball and gymnastics and a function at school, make sure that you plan a 10 minute meal or something that's so easy to throw together and has minimal dishes involved. Number four, always shop your pantry and your freezer first. Keep an eye out for any ingredients that need to get used and plan meals around that. And number five, I always leave at least two days of dinners open with no plan. Sometimes we have tons of leftovers that need to get eaten. And if all else fails and there's no leftovers and we still have no plan, then we go to a pantry meal like spaghetti or my family's favorite breakfast for dinner.